You may think the work I do with my ministry doesn't matter. Ask Darius. Darius, a man who was on the streets for many years, finally got his own place. A year later, he heard about the work that I do with the poor, needy, and homeless. A week later, we brought a truck with furniture, dishes, and a bed for him. So Darius, so humble, stood there with tears in his eyes and said, now I can have my grandchildren over. They never had a place to sit. I had listed a headboard for free on Craigslist. The second person that got a hold of me wrote and said, I need this. I'm a single mother who has two little girls. I've been in and out of women's shelters with them, and I finally got my own place. We were able to get 23-year-old Lauren, whose husband's in jail, and her two and three-year-old daughters, everything that they needed for their apartment, including a Christmas tree. When we were leaving and backing out of her driveway, Lauren said, wait, Sandy, I want you to be part of our lives forever. And her two little girls call me Aunt Sandy. A mother of three called me. She had been given my information. She told me her story. She had three sons, ages 11, 13, and 15. Her house burned, no insurance. She said her boys were hungry. I called a fresh market and went there and filled my small car with five shopping carts full of food for this lady. She stood there in amazement and she said, my boys have been hungry more days in their life than they've been full. The stories are varied, the names are different, but everyone wants one thing. Everyone wants to know that someone cares as they struggle to put one foot in front of the other. In two months time, using my garage as a warehouse, we were able to furnish 17 apartments completely for homeless who got off the streets last year. I love what I do. It has enabled me to bless people and help them get off the streets. I have been using my own vehicle and my own resources, and now my vehicle is in need of repair and needs to be replaced, hopefully with something bigger that can help so many more. The ministry that has helped so many cannot go on without a new vehicle. You get to be a part of the rest of the story. Welcome to chapter two. While thoughts that this ministry of love might end without your help, it's come to my attention that there are a lot of people out there that want to help the homeless. People that have resources, that have the finances, that have the furniture, that can help keep this going. I want you to come along on this journey. I need your help. I can't do it alone anymore. Even though I need your funding, I need so much more. I need your heart for giving. Will you help me? Will you join this ministry? And even more than that, will you help those thousands and thousands that are in the streets that just need to know that one person cares? Mm -hmm.